Hello guys, welcome to my channel DIY Spy. So today's video is a bit different. It's not going to be the usual DIYs I do. Today's video is a plan with me bullet journal. So what is a bullet journal? Actually, a bullet journal is a method introduced by Rydal Carroll. It is a customizable system where you can do like your to-do list, diary, sketchbook. You can do anything you want in it and the best thing is that you have no boundaries in it. So I really like this method. First, when I came to know about it, I just thought that it's only popular, it's, it only has its hype, it's nothing special. But when I got to know it, I started bullet journaling in like May. And trust me, I fell in love with it. It's such a good way to keep things in track, it's so efficient, you get so organized. And the basic purpose of bullet journal is to keep your things in track, to be organized and get your goals out of it and be productive. So I'm gonna start off my bullet journaling with the main page which is the July. Uh, I, I like to make it a little simple, not too much and not too less. But like many people as you have as maybe you have seen before like to do like a lot they paint and do they do lots of stuff but for me it's like i just want to keep things in track so i don't want to make it like too overwhelming by doing a lots of paintings then then it won't be the same because the main purpose for me is to become like more productive to to get the most out of what i want to do so uh, the first page uh, for me is like the monthly log where I make like a monthly calendar where I write the dates, I write down all the dates and then I write down what I have to do in every particular date. So it's very good and very efficient for me so I can like always look back at it and know that okay I have this task to do this month. So it's a very good way to keep all your um, events in track in the time so it's very it's like it's best for time management and I love to make a monthly plan people like to make like weekly spreads as well with the monthly plans but I like only monthly plan because for me weekly spreads is like too overwhelming but it again it all depends on you what you like and what's comfortable for you and after the monthly plan I like to make the habit tracker I just love the habit tracker because it's amazing I can like I write all the habits I have which I need things I need to work on for example I like write the vitamins because I because where I live there's like a like Sun comes out rarely especially in winter so I really need to eat the vitamin D medicines so like I write the vitamins and every day I like just stick and I'm like okay I ate the vitamins today and it's very important because you know in the end of the day when I look at the page I like I feel like I'm held accountable for like okay I didn't do this and then I feel a little regret but if I don't write it down then I won't even remember it so it's very important if you want to keep track of the things you want to do daily in your life and then it's amazing for example I also write down like water because then I write okay how much I drink because water is essential and it's, and it's very important and we always tend to forget to drink water especially me so water is extremely important and where I live again I forget to drink water because it's not that hot so just like that you write down the habits you want to like cover and I, I'm going to repeat it all over again if I say it again but the, the thing is to write down your habits and keep the track of them write down the date and then every day you just stick and just cross them and in the end of the month you realize that okay this is what I did the whole month I like studied this much I ate this much junk food I drank this much coke like I like I did toothbrush like I wrote toothbrush as well because at night I usually forget to do it don't judge me I'm not a disgusting person but still so after the habit tracker I like to do the mood tracker and this one's my favorite because because usually we usually we tend to say that oh it was the worst month ever but we don't realize because some days are extremely good so I like to make a month a mood tracker monthly mood tracker a spread where I write down all the dates and then I write down like my moods I make emojis like happy sad extremely happy angry and then every single day at night I think of okay how was my day and then I write it down like I make the emoji and then I get to know okay this was like my mood the whole day and this is how my day was and in the end of the month I get to realize okay so now I can decide how my month actually went and after the mood tracker I like to do the gratitude one the gratitude one is like my favorite most favorite because we usually forget 
the things we should be thankful for and this is an amazing way to remember because every night even though if my day sucked literally even though if i had the most terrible day this this thing forces me to think of something good that happened so then i have to think and then when i think and then i'm like okay my day wasn't that bad so it's very important it's a very great thing so the next thing i like to do is little things that matter to me every single day it's a very different thing i tried this month because i didn't do it the last month because i'm a person who notices a lot so even though if i see like every in my daily life if i see people walking by and like parents hugging their children or a dog running around the ball it makes me very happy i don't these are the little things for example my nephew coming to me and hugging me because that happens rarely or my cat like my cat doing some silly things so i write those things down and it like motivates me like towards happy positive vibes and after the little things that matters i like to do the expense tracker because when it comes to money ha i'm not good at that so i like to you know organize my like amount of my money everywhere like where i spend in sections because then i can know in the end of the month that how much i spend in which particular section and trust me i spend most of my money in food and i have to work in that matter but apart from that then i write like essentials art supplies and this month as my cat came to me i have to add her section as well and after that the last thing i do is the monthly to do list because that's something very important to me because it's like my monthly goals i write them down okay this is what i have to do this month and then just i just tick them and just cross them just like that people do weekly spreads weekly lists i don't like to do that because that's too overwhelming for me as i told before so and after that i do the daily log the, the daily log is like it helps me every single day i like write down the list and do that okay i have to do this 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 and it helps me a lot so this is the like my design for the bullet journaling it's it's not that overwhelming it's something simple and something not too much but i like it because sometimes i also doodle in it but this is like the most i cannot do more than this because this is like perfect for me so thank you so much guys for watching i hope you like this video it's a kind of different video and it's not like scripted like the other ones and here i'm just babbling and blabbling just speaking but i i liked it it's something different i hope you guys liked it as well please comment rate and subscribe until then bye